Welcome back to Honor Football. In today's detailed review video, we're going to be taking a look at the Nike Vapor Knit 2.0 football gloves sent over from my partners at eastbay.com. As usual, I'm going to include a link in the video description of where you can purchase these gloves. Now, in this video, in this review, I'm going to be comparing them to the original Vapor Knit football gloves. Yes, I still have a pair of these because they are some of my favorite gloves. Even though you've seen the wear and tear of how much I've used them, they even have a little rip, I still have them. So I'm glad to have got the updated version of the 2.0s. Now I'm gonna tell you about this glove, tell you about some of the differences, how they've updated it, and then I'm gonna go into all the things I cover off on my glove reviews, what you're gonna love about the glove, what you're gonna like about it, and then the different trade-offs. So without further ado, Let's get into the review. Now, if you saw my unboxing with this glove, you already know some of the new things. Now, upgrading from the original one, uh, this glove actually came out last year. Now, they had different colorways. Nike's on a two-year glove cycle or design cycle. Uh, so the gloves last for about two years, so I'd expect next year to see a Vapor Knit uh, 3.0. Now, for this year, again, for last year, uh, the only thing that's updated is the colorway. It is gonna have the same attributes as the glove last year, which I did not review. So you'll see those different colorways, both of them are available on eastbay.com. Now what's been updated in the Vapor Knit 2.0s since the originals came out? One is going to be the knit itself. They have an updated knit that should be a little bit more durable as well as a little bit uh, stretchier. Now that's not something that I really found, but it is supposed to be a little bit stretchier. Now you can see here the actual um, knit in the, the weave in the knit, it goes a different direction. So you can see that this is more vertical, uh, which does change the stretch properties a little bit than the, it in the original glove here. Now you also notice that the fingertip caps are different. This is gonna help to provide a better fit as well as reduce a lot of the finger twist. So that's definitely a welcomed improvement over here in that area. And they made the glove a little bit more streamlined. It's hard to tell, but you can see here that they had this tag. This is for the certification of SFIA and Noxie. That's here. Now that is just printed actually on the glove um, that you can see here. So that's going to have a little bit less distraction. They beefed up the wrist closure. Just a small update that they have. Um, but you can see here it's going to be a little bit thicker just in that design. You can see that it's sewn on for durability. As here it just uh, goes one piece into the back of the glove. Now on the cuff side of it, you can see that there's nothing here that kind of left that bare. Uh, but you know when you're paying $60 for gloves, you do want to be a little bit more premium. So they did, you know, just put that little attachment on the inside, which adds a nice effect. Cleans up the glove a little bit, makes it a little bit more premium. Now what I really like about these is going to be the design. The design is different and improved. Uh, obviously that's subjective. Now they do have a faded look for this year in 2018. Last year they had the white caps. So now that you have the overview of the glove, uh, I'm going to go into all the things that you're really gonna love, the things that you're gonna like, and then the trade-offs with this glove. Now there's three things that you're really going to love about this glove. The first is actually going to be the design. I think these are just super clean super premium look when you put them on when you feel them everything screams premium and high end about these gloves uh, when you wear them so that's the first thing the second thing that you're going to like about this is it's breathable now there are very breathable gloves out there a lot of those have a lycra backing or a complete mesh back of hand a lot of those gloves aren't very durable so this with this knit you're going to have not just a durable glove but you're going to have a glove where you actually feel secure which is important for a lot of football players to not have a super lightweight glove i'm not a fan of the super super lightweight gloves so you're going to have that durability because of the knit you're going to have that security because of the knit and you're going to have that ventilation because of the knit so it's going to be your maximum ventilated glove of this category where that actually has some some beef and some substance to it as a receiver glove. The last thing that you're really gonna love about this glove is going to be the fit. They fit true to size, but because it's so secure with these fingertip caps, you just feel locked in to the glove more than any of the other gloves in Nike's line. I feel really locked in. Now, if you're a Nike fan, there's gonna be a lot to like about this, and we're gonna start with the Magna Grip Palm. Magna Grip is tried and true. Um, it's very durable, it lasts over time. It's one of my favorite grips uh, that, you know, from all the manufacturers on the market, um, because it kind of breaks in over time where you do get a little bit more grip. So you're gonna have that standard Magna Grip 
with this Nike glove, just like every other glove in their line. Even if you have all the grip in the world, if you don't have good ball feel, good range of motion, it's not going to feel like you have the grip. It's not going to feel like a good football glove. Now, with something like the vapor knit material, you're going to have really excellent ball feel because, again, it's thin on the magnet grip side and it's really thin on the back of hand. Now, the range of motion isn't as good as some of the gloves that are a little bit more compressive, like the Vapor Jet 5s that have that complete compressive back of hand material that give it even better range of motion. This is going to add more security um, a secure feeling to the glove which is actually going to take away a little bit from the range of motion but it is really good just not as good as the vapor jet fives now nike does offer over 14 different colorways of this glove uh, from eastbay.com again you can check that on the link but there's 14 different colorways between last year's vapor net 2.0s and this year's vapor net 2.0s which again are the same glove just different colorways. Now there are a couple of trade offs with this glove. Um, one is gonna be what I just talked about, but it's gonna be that the back of hand is not compressive. Even though you can see that it stretches here and this new vapor knit is more stretchy, it's not as compressive as the Vapor Jet 5s. So that is gonna be a little bit different and just something that you know about this glove. If you play in cold weather, so if you're you know up north like Chicago, like I am, Michigan, New York, uh, Ohio, you know, states like that. Uh, this may get cold when you're playing outdoors in the fall because it's so ventilated. If you're playing in warm weather, so those summer games, uh, training camp, uh, summer camp, spring ball, or anywhere down south where you're playing where it gets really hot, you're going to love these gloves. But that's, again, something you should know with something that's so breathable. When it gets cold outside, you can actually feel the air coming through and now these gloves cost $60 that's the other trade-off is it worth it for 60 I always get those questions you know I just went through all the different attributes and you have to decide for yourself is it worth $60 this has been one of my favorite gloves over time all around um, so it's definitely something that I consider worth paying for the price now any player on the field can use these um, it's definitely geared towards skilled players uh, so your receivers um, your running backs uh, your cornerbacks you know all those players who don't need padding on the back of hand and want a lot of that breathability um, can use this glove uh, so definitely if you like this video uh, give me a thumbs up share subscribe tell your friends and uh, i will see you guys next time